last time, last time, last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can tell me less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's for me. Nope, no, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I uh, studied blacksmithing in UK uh -huh. eight years ago. Eight years ago? Yeah, eight years ago I studied, so I got my uh, university degree from uh, from uh, UK in blacksmithing. It's uh, tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. it's a uh, start to be ready for start Tatar iron making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, <laughs> tomorrow is a dirty one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. It's a, uh, from the morning to the lunchtime, mm -hmm. it's a uh, charcoal cutting. Okay, charcoal yeah, cutting. Charcoal okay. cutting yeah. is very dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a traditional dress from our area. Yeah, I so guess this, so. So this is like kimono for us. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, don't yeah. use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so tomorrow, tomorrow it's a morning to lunchtime. It's a cut charcoal. Mm -hmm. And after lunch, if we finish yeah. before lunch, uh, so we start to so make furnace. Okay. It's a in, uh, clay work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. clay work. It's okay. another dirty work. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. And so make clay, uh, make inside of so furnace mm -hmm. for tatara furnace by clay, and after this we join bottom one, center one, top one, uh -huh. and then make fire. Okay. It's a bit drying. Okay, so dry fire. it out. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That one is the first day many. Mm -hmm. Okay, second day it mm -hmm. exactly tatara making. Okay. It's a uh, maybe it's a uh, eight o'clock start mm -hmm. start fire, uh -huh. and after the, uh, about two hours mm -hmm. only fire by fire. Mm -hmm. And after this, about one hour only fire by charcoal. Okay. It's a, we take uh, three hours for hira inside. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. These three hours only um, use charcoal and fire. So just to so, heat up the yeah, furnace exactly. before so it's ready. Yeah, temperature is right. Yeah. If it's heat up ready, yeah. you put on so iron sun uh -huh. and start so iron making. Yeah. yeah. It's a take a one about two hours. Okay. Yeah. And so after this, it's uh, maybe two uh, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. After mm, after lunch time, mm -hmm. it's a two o'clock. We can finish. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit so far. No, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, we finish when it's finished. Yeah, yeah. That, two or three yeah. o'clock. Yeah. it's okay. Okay. Yeah, and second day it's uh, I'm making only that one. Uh huh. So sometimes people pick up pick up uh, pick up from the inside. It's uh, as a day, uh -huh. but so I don't pick up as a day because so if it's too much hot, it's uh -huh. a little bit dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I pull down take a one night. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And third day. We separate the furnace, uh -huh. so if by success, if uh -huh. successfully, I pick up big items, uh, big tatar iron steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we finish quickly or uh, more faster, mm -hmm. maybe we can start forging mm -hmm. or make a uh, square. Yeah. Have you seen Tamahane before? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's a not so big one, but so yeah. this one, maybe if it's successfully finished, mm -hmm. we, can, uh, we can get a big one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. After this, we try to start so forging mm -hmm. uh, by Tamahana. Yeah. It's the first aim is to make square mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. forging. Yeah. So basically, refine this to this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a maybe. Yeah. Saturday is a just pick up mm -hmm. and so correct. And so maybe if, if we have a time, we make square. Yeah. It's a Saturday. Yeah. And next day, fourth day, it's a make a be in this uh, forging welding. Okay. Forge welding pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same method of the Japanese sword of making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so fifth day, mm -hmm. it's a exactly knife making. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a make knife by hand. Yeah, by hand. Okay. Yeah, please think about what yeah. kind of knife would you like to make. Okay. But do you uh, do you polish on the grinder or do you just go on the yeah, stones? Yeah, of course it's the first time I use grinding yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after this, we use so uh, sharpening stone. Oh, you go on yeah, stones, okay. And sometimes use so paper, uh, some paper too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one is not me, my my apprentice, my yes. assistant, his name is Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know yeah. me. He polished yeah. by Tamahagane knife. Oh, okay. This one is a Tamahagane. Okay. And so this knife made uh, our students. Okay. Yeah, last month. So is that, oh, is that from the students? Yeah, it's uh, already sending for them. And yeah. especially when we. Mm, when we try hardening, put in water, mm -hmm. it's a uh, if it's nothing sound, it's good meaning. Yeah. But if we have a ping, ping, something bad sound, yeah. oh, you can hear it. Yeah. My stop, it's my heart. <laughs> can I ask? Yes. What's up? 
it's like a traditional belt but you know it's a whole crap man or yeah just traditional yeah traditional be belt from a, that sometimes they're bigger sometimes they're smaller yeah but, why? But, uh, I think it came from because it's a, like a very farming area so you, you know like the head, weight lifters they will have that belt ah so I it, see so you put it you put it tight yeah 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 and yeah. then you keep, keep, keep everything Not inside yeah 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 oh. so this is like from uh, from my from my area this is like a formal wear you know formal wear yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, this and is and something yeah. this one is uh, it, uh, plant yeah yeah this is it's all plant, plant motifs yeah uh, same and with the same with the plants is in here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it, like, like I said, in our area in the mountains, we're also in, like, in, 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 it's in the mountains mountain. as well. Yeah, ah, we're I also see. from like a mountain area in Poland as well. We're down uh, uh, Sondetskie, uh, Krzysztofa, my village is called. Uh, hey, and uh, it's, uh, it's part of Lachy Sondetskie. It's basically like a, uh, like a group of people that lives in that area. And yeah, this yeah. is what they would wear. Uh, I also like part of the folk band in the folk, band? folk uh, so like a, tra a traditional music from the area. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So we have finished uh, with the clay. We made a lot of little balls with it, and those balls are gonna be used to fill the uh, furnace to be ready for our uh, smelt. This is just a normal clay from around here, usually used for rice farming. You can buy them in any uh, farm shop uh, around this place. But it has to have a little rocks in there that will prevent the cracking of the furnace when we bring the temperature up uh, in it. So now we're gonna start using the balls to prepare our furnace.
Oke, okay, go pick up. <laughs> Just he fast, he fast. <laughs> Oke, okay. go up. Move there, yes. Oke, okay, go down. Please, oh, sorry. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. okay, move to here. Ya. Yeah. Di center. Oke, oke. Oke. The first job of today is to separate the iron dust from the left of the world of the sand. This is the magnetite ore that was collected in the nearby beach. And we're gonna use this magnet and slowly get it all separated so the sun doesn't mess up our smelt. Last moments before the actual smelt is starting. So our wood that was earlier in the furnace has already burned. We stomp it down and put the charcoal on top of it. Now we wait five, 10 minutes before the uh, oven gets to the right temperature. And we're gonna put our iron ore inside and layer it with charcoal. That will uh, give us the, uh, the iron bloom that we need for the tamahagere. If it's not so changed to go down, it's a sometimes to Yeah, yeah we'll stick uh, yeah. yeah, and okay. we won't go, yeah. <laughs> okay, right now it's a uh, fire is small. Okay, okay, so okay please check. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Good. Okay. Good, okay. Ah, thank you. Okay, this is a piece of check. So we got a bit of little issue here because it's been so humid and it was raining for the last couple of days is actually prevent us to get the furnace to the right temperature. We're looking for about 1300 degrees Celsius, and, but it has to be even. So right now it's getting to the temperature, but it's uh, going down. So we need to keep on adding charcoal and hope that we're gonna have a nice even heat going on for the particular period of time. He always knowing it's a, in this time is of course it's a first time for him but so maybe it's a, he can understand only one time because he's a experience already almost yeah if it's explained for him easily understand for him of course it's a, if he try by himself in his country it's a, maybe it's a sometimes so something mistake or accident but doesn't matter every time i have an accident too yeah he can try in this week, it's a, we process from the iron sand to knife. Every time we have a chance to mistake an accident, and especially in this time, first accident, it's a first worried about. It's a, when I make tatar iron making, when I doing tatar iron making, it's a first uh, worried point. It's a not go out slug. If it's slug is a very hard, cannot go out throughout, it's a, we couldn't make iron. But so that day, 
with successful finish. Slug is very through. But next day, when I try go, um, when I get iron from the iron making furnace, we couldn't many. Especially when I try to break under part, we couldn't get so big piece. I think oh, very shocking. <laughs> But after if these people, it's a Jesse and so Polish uh, guy, it's a, uh, they try to collect everything. We can get about five kilo, a little bit more, we can get so small piece, but we can get so small piece of tamahagane, five kilo. And so we follow up from the Oroshigana technique. We can successfully join two big piece of uh, tamahagane by Oroshigana technique. Yeah, it's good things. We just broke the furnace and we got a partial success. We got a bit of cast iron in there, steel, iron and, and slug, of course. But this is not the lost work. We're going to crush it all into smaller pieces and use the Orishigame uh, process to uh, bring the steel in it. So what it does, it will uh, even out the carbon content through the steel and hopefully we're gonna end up with enough tatara to make a couple knives. Yeah. So right now I try to crush all and then collect by magnet, collect iron by magnet. Mm -hmm. And then use Oroshigan technique and the bead together. Mm -hmm. So before doing, it's a maybe some, maybe special this one, this is this one. Yeah. It's a, I check about carbon percentage by spark. Yeah, it's a cast iron. Very smart source. And so after this, next step, it's a very difficult point. It's a forge welding, fold welding. But so they work very well, so we can successfully finish. So normally, when we try to nine times the folding, we lost more than 50%. But so in this time, we can get maybe half 55%, yeah, more than 50% we can get from the, uh, about four, four kilo or five kilo, uh, 3.5 kilo, yeah. We successfully finished too, yeah. And so next worried point is, of course, it's a forging, but forging is, of course, he's a professional blacksmith. It's no problem, perfectly, very quick. And so last very worried point is a hardening, uh, heat treatment. So last five years, it's a uh, hard work to make iron making and so forging, for the wedding. But last part is a phenomenal tra mistake about forging welding, uh, a hardening. It's a break, easy, at the one time. It's a very shocking, it's a very nervous time for me. But he's very well, and so he successfully finished hardening. Last day, we tried to polish, we can see Hamon very clearly. Yeah, it's a very, very happy today.
So we have just finished the fourth day of my Patara making class. It was exhausting. The, the whole experience I can compare it only to like being on the battlefield. The fire was going up to the roof. The hammer was sh sounding like a gunshot. And I am drenched in sweat. The only thing I want to do right now is to go to the nearby Shimanto River and have a swim. But I'm very really happy how it turned out. We got a solid piece of steel that after all the folding, we have 512 layers of steel. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jesse Cunningham. I'm from uh, British Columbia, Canada. I worked as a concrete worker. I was a carpenter. I ended up eventually going back to art school and finishing my uh, degree in fine arts at a university in Vancouver called Emily Carr University. And I had no idea that anybody was just making Tamahagane steel at that point. I thought it was just for swordsmiths and uh, maybe kind of a lost art. And I found out that he was collecting his own magnetite from the beach and smelting that into steel and then refining that steel and making it into these beautiful kitchen knives. And I thought, well, that's, that's exactly, exactly what I'd like to learn how to do. So I came back for that week-long course and uh, it was awesome. And by the end of it, I just kind of uh, wouldn't leave. So I'm still here about a year and a half later. It's not, uh, it's not light work, you know, lots of swinging a hammer and lots of hot days and, uh, and for very little money. But uh, I think that it's a feeling, you know, it, 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 if you get addicted to that feeling of uh, completing a project, you know, and uh, especially the further back you go, if you collect sand off the beach and you make it into steel and then eventually there's a knife it's a, it's a huge feeling of independence. Uh, many years before I moved to Japan, but I didn't realize that it was an accessible workshop. And when I started looking around for different workshops to visit, of course a lot of swordsmiths come up and, uh, you know, as beautiful as that is, I didn't have much interest in making swords. I wanted to make like uh, useful things that people would use. I mean, I'm happy that it's uh, very pleasant very pleasant. It's a uh, very lucky because I think there's quite a tradition in Japan of your master being very strict, and the way you're supposed to learn from your master is to steal the secrets. Right? You don't get taught. You you get told to do things and you watch. And uh, but here there's no secrets. You know all the information is freely given. It's a very generous workshop. I, I think that maybe Nobuya Sensei is a little unique in his. Uh, his kindness and generous nature um, because I have heard of other people's experiences uh, maybe having a little bit more difficulty with that strict hard traditional Japanese method. We were in communication and I've been admiring his work and his posts for a long time now. And eventually he reached out and said, you know, like, would it be possible to come and do a week, the week long workshop and, you know, like, what would it cost? And, you know, when would we be able to do it and all the rest of that? And yeah, I was the go between uh, with uh, Nobuya Sensei on that one. So it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing to come from the UK or to come from Poland, especially right now. It's a much longer flight than it used to be and a lot of different time zones and a lot of, you know, everybody has to, to take a week to do a course in the Japanese countryside. I mean, what a commitment. What a commitment. That's, a, that's incredible. Like, uh, yes. not many people would be willing to do a trip like that. So you never know if somebody's actually going to do it. And uh, showed up, ready to work. And it, it's been a, a absolute pleasure and, and a joy to get to meet the man himself and uh, see how he works. We are putting the clay on both sides of my blade. The purpose of this work is to create something called differential hardening. The 
edge of the knife will be nice and tough and the spine will be soft. This is one of the oldest techniques in blacksmithing, especially popular among Japanese blacksmiths. But as you can see, it's a very tedious work, especially if you want to create a bit of a pattern in the blade called Hamon. You will be able to see, if done correctly, the difference in the hardness of the of the grain in the steel. Last night, it's a last last time. It's a magnet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn out. Yes. Next time, can you check? It's a please use magnet. Can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel it vibrating. Okay, almost there. And so when it stops vibrating, take it out, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Your knife clay work is very nice. Still outside. No separate. We can see the line when there was no clay. This is the hamon I was talking about. This will give us a very hard edge. Yeah, it's a good. It's, yeah, it's, good. it's a very nice. Yeah, nothing problem. It's a sometimes if it's a mis if it's a mistake, mm. it's a didn't so join or mm. welding. It's something lying here. Mm. But so in this time, it's a nothing. Nothing, nothing happening. Perfectly, Perfect. we finish uh, forge welding. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. And so tomorrow, when I try to sharpen and sharpening by stone mm -hmm. on polishing, we can see something. I hopefully won't see something. Uh, the, Nanake, hardening line. Hi. Yeah, Hamon. clay line. Hamon. Hamon. Yeah. yeah. I want to so see tomorrow. Ah, yeah. Hi. This one is not tomorrow's one. But <laughs> so today we can see uh, no we can knowing about so perfectly work about so forge welding. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Congratulations. Hi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Especially it's uh, in this time it's very contrast, it's very very good. Very yeah. good. Very very clear. Good. Yeah, I never seen before myself. <laughs> Especially ah, this one is a very unique that. point. It's a uh, backside here. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, little bit uh, light color. Yeah. It's a uh, very very unique. Yeah, mm. I like this one so much. Like a uh, Japanese sword. Yeah. This was a real roller coaster the whole week. I still feel sore in my muscles, but we got the knife finished. It looks beautiful. It was beautifully packaged by Master Nobuya. I can't be more happy.